what happened in Vegas? <laughs> you know, stay in Vegas. <laughs> Khabib, welcome to London. Thank you. Thank you um, so much. As usual, very calm, very collected, but inside, are you excited to get back inside the octagon? <sighs> yes, this, you know, it's like very exciting about my comeback with tough opponent versus interim lightweight champion, and uh, I can't wait. This time away from <coughs> competition, has it been frustrating for you or has it been a, a welcome relief to have some time away? You know, I enjoy with my time. Why I have to be stressed? For what? I'm already UFC champion. I defend my title. You know, I'm undefeated. Of course, I want to just enjoy with all process. You know, I don't want to be stressed. I enjoy with my hard work, with hard training, with my brothers, with my team, you know, with everything what happened inside, outside the cage, and uh, I just enjoy with it. Are you excited to put Las Vegas behind you and what happened out there? Because you, know, you, you were out of character as well. What happened in Vegas? <laughs> you know, stay in Vegas. <laughs> Nothing come out, you know, and everybody see what happened in Vegas, you know, victory in my side, you know, we smash him, we smash all his team, very happy about this, and uh, about City, I don't know, I, I don't want to fight in Vegas anymore, because they take his money and they take my money 10 more time than his money. This is not about money. This is about this is about how they um, how all process going. You know, this is about this, and uh, I don't want to fight in Vegas. And uh, you know, if some great fight happen in Vegas, I'm gonna go and just watch. But I don't want to fight anymore in Vegas. If Connor comes back and and gets some wins, beats beats a ranked guy, would you entertain a rematch with Connor? Uh, if he deserves, yes, but right now I'm not interested. Why I need rematch? For what? Even though it makes the most money? Um, money is not bad, but when you have too much money, it's uh, no good. Was part of your return tied into the, the date in Abu Dhabi? Did you want to compete in Abu Dhabi? Yes, very. I really want to fight in Abu Dhabi because a lot of my fans can come from USSA countries, from Russia, from Arabic countries. Everybody can come to Abu Dhabi and uh, watch my fight and enjoy, you know. And um, <coughs> this is perfect place right now for me, for UFC, to make big UFC in Arabic countries. And uh, perfect time and perfect place. How important as well is that Abu Dhabi is such a, a large Muslim community? You must feel it as being a, very much a role model. Yeah, I have very big, big support in the uh, Muslim community and Emirates too. And a uh, uh, lot of time I go to Abu Dhabi, Dubai with my family, kids, enjoy there, you know. This is like my opinion, like uh, most safe place in the world. Because I was in London, Moscow, Dagestan, Turkey, US, like I was everywhere, Europe. Like uh, Emirates is most safe place in the world, you know. Dustin no need nervous about his life or something like this. He can come with his family, enjoy after fight in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and uh, they have a lot of place you can enjoy with your family. And uh, I love this place. You know, there's, there's footballers in this country, people like Mo Salah, who are changing, you know, the, the mentality of people. You know, Islamophobia is right down. People are really embracing them. Do you do you feel responsible to do that as well on a global scale? Yeah, I feel this. You know, it's like uh, we, with Mo Salah or with me or without us, uh, God do His uh, job perfectly, and with us or without us. Uh, you know, Islamophobia is gonna be gone da go down. You know, and uh, people's gonna know uh, who is who, what is what. And uh, you know, I'm very happy to be part of this uh, <coughs> time because this is like very hard time for Muslims. But uh, 
we're gonna kill Islamophobia around the world, everywhere. Because uh, sometimes, like right right now, people, everybody on internet, like Instagram, YouTube, everywhere, they watch every everybody, they follow everybody. You know, they know who is who, and uh, we have to show perfect example for people, for Muslims, like everybody in the world. Are you a football fan? Do you have a football team? Uh, <coughs> I think I'm not only a fan, I think I'm, um, I know very big history in football. You know, like English Premier League, for me, is the best Premier League in the world. You know, I follow, I follow everything. Do you have a team? Yes, I'm trying I, to get you to say Liverpool because no, no, no. that's my team. But. No, no, but I, I like <laughs> Liverpool. I, I remember when I was a kid, 2005, when I watched uh, Liverpool versus Milan in Dagestan. We have big screen uh, TV in the um, beach, like like thousands of people watch on this match. And when they're losing, like first time, after first uh, time, like 3 0, I really believe them. They have to come back, they have to come back because I like the, the, those team, like with me, Milan Baros, then Schmitz, Riese, yeah. Hupia. I remember this, like, um, uh, what's name? Steven Gerrard, uh, Schmitz. Igor Bishkan. Yes, yeah, yeah. like, it was like crazy team. You know, it's like very good team. But right now is they have very good team right now too, you know, like I watch all much League of Champions uh, in uh, Liverpool, but I'm big fan in Real Madrid. But I like watching like English Premier League. Like That's even e even they play like uh, worst team, they mm -hmm. have like like uh, the best games. Yeah. So when you fight now do they put the same screen up? With the who? In Dagestan, ah, they yeah, put up yeah. the same big yeah, TV for when you fight? Same, same. <laughs> right now, like my last fight, uh, they put screen like everywhere. Like, you know, cinema theaters, like outside, inside, everywhere. Why, why, why do we get such an incredible talent pool from Dagestan? Why Dagestan? <sighs> why Dagestan? Um, I think uh, about history, you know. Always, if you watch in geography, like uh, how is Dagestan, where is Dagestan, you can uh, understand it's like uh, all life. It's like a uh, lot of wars happen in Dagestan, people living in mountain, and you know, it's like tough life. And when you have tough life, hard life, uh, become success very easy because you have motivation, you're hungry. You need this, you know, and when you have everything, you have money, you have food, you know, you have house, car, everything. You don't want to go to the gym and, uh, you know, training so hard. I think that's why. And we have big history in sport. Uh, like right now, we have the best uh, school in the world, like freestyle. Uh, Ushu Sanda, like best school in Russia, like boxing, grappling, judo, and uh, MMA is everything is together mm -hmm. and uh, and people people is so tough very tough people and uh, mentality like everything become together I think mm. will we see Khabib go to the next level because your father's there <laughs> uh, is there another uh, level to Khabib can you go even no I I, I, I have to go different level but not uh, I can't jump out there <laughs> cage you know <laughs> I have to stay inside the cage and uh, is this what your father said yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes I already improve myself I'm working like everywhere like grappling striking wrestling conditioning um, like if you guys watch my every fights every fights I improve you know if you want to be champion if you have if you want to defend your title you have to become high with the MMA because MMA every day like grow up like go high 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 because Lara tough young hungry guys coming and you have to be ready for everybody and that's why I keep going you have to learn every day something every day you have to learn and uh, like even if you talk about grappling I don't show everything what uh, I can do mm -hmm. and um, I'm working on my hip position I'm working on my mount position, you know, it's like take back, like everywhere, you know, and uh, we have 11 weeks before the fight and uh, uh, I'm going to improve myself 
for the next 11 weeks. Tell me about Dustin Poirier, what his strengths are, what he brings to Abu Dhabi, <sighs> why he's different from other, other guys you've faced he's already. He's tough, you know, he's tough. He has good experience, more than 20 fights in UFC, you know. Uh, he beat a lot of tough guys. I like his uh, footwork, his boxing, everything, but uh, I'm going to make him tired. He has to be ready because if you watch his fights, he fight Gaethje, stand up. He fight Pettis, stand up. He fight Holloway, stand up. He fight uh, like with everybody, he fight in stand up, you know. But with me, you have to be ready on press, pre pressure, like wrestling pressure. I'm not going to stay with him on feet, you know. Of course, fight beginning, like uh, boxing style, but I'm going to take him down, make him tired and finish him. This is what I'm going to do. He's certainly your next challenge, but a lot of people in the industry think your toughest challenge is actually Tony Ferguson, who came back just last weekend. Were you impressed with Tony's performance and do you agree with that? Do you think Tony Ferguson's potentially even stronger than Dustin Poirier? Like, um, like if you watch Tony Ferguson and Dustin Poirier, like a little bit, they a little bit different style because uh, Dustin is more technical, you know, not bad on the ground. Like Tony Ferguson, not bad on the ground too. But uh, he's skinny, he's skinny. I'm gonna hold him a little bit and uh, finish his energy. I talk about Tony Ferguson. Like people think he can do whatever he want on stand up, but even if we talk about him, his fight, all fights happen in uh, stand up, like Pettis. Cowboy, or like, like if you watch Kevin Lee fight, he take him down, you know, he hold him, he take he he take his mount, you know. But um, I am much different than Kevin Lee, you know. If Kevin Lee can wrestling one round, I can wrestling five round, you know. It's like, and uh, if you watch how he fight versus wrestlers, he always have problem. Like, like Danny Castillo, my opinion, he beat him like a two and one in rounds. I watched this fight in Sacramento, like very close in the cage. And I was so surprised when they give Tony Ferguson victory. Mm -hmm. He always have problem with wrestlers. And uh, anyways, tough opponent, deserve title shot. And uh, <clears throat> to improve my legacy, I have to beat this guy too. Yeah. You talk a lot now about your legacy, about how you're going to get to what you want to achieve yeah. in the sport. But when you do eventually leave, how do you want people to, to remember? Can you... I don't want to be like just champion. And I want to be like uh, greatest champion in lightweight division. Lightweight belt was defended only three times. I want to defend this four times, inshallah. And uh, beat Tony Ferguson, Dustin Poirier. Maybe GSP if you want to come back or other opponent and uh, defend four time is going to be great. Well, the GSP fight is something you've, you've talked about, you just mentioned it then. Um, if he doesn't come back, how do you define your legacy as one of the greatest of all time hmm. without moving up? Surely at some stage the pressure to move up to another weight division or potentially move down? Could you potentially move down? Just, just beat Tony Ferguson and Dustin Poirier become greatest lightweight of all time. You know, undefeated, undefeated. I think enough. Do you, do you still love MMA? I get this feeling that you've done it for such a long time. Yeah, do you so, still love the sport? Yes, I, I, I love competition. You know, I still love competition, like sparring, like grappling, like even if we run, I love competition. Like, uh, if you talk about enjoy with victory, this is different. Victor like victory for me. I'm like uh, I'm not enjoy like I enjoyed before. I no, I'm not enjoy this. Like win win and that's it. I all the time worry about like after every fight I become famous famous famous. Like, like you know, like uh, if I want I can't walk around the streets. Mm. Like I want you know, like a lot of people come take picture like try to talk with me. You know I don't like this stuff. Like a uh, little bit tired, tired with this stuff. That's why I don't like Victor because I I know with Victor it comes like money, attention, famous, like a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's why.
So will you look to get out of the sport before defeat comes, or would the defeat mean the end for you? No, I uh, um, I already work a lot of side like like business or something like this, but not too much. I have a lot of offer like with a lot of companies. Like I try a little bit uh, stay away a lot of stuff because I'm current UFC lightweight champion. My job is defend my title. You know, number one job is my defend my title. If I won't defend my title, I have to spend five hours every day in, in the gym. You know, <clears throat> that's why everything is together. If you lose something, everything goes down. Mm -hmm. That's why I try to control everything because uh, I know the history of MMA. I know uh, this history of champions, a lot of champions, when they become champion. And a lot of guys, like, uh, when they win, they a little bit change. Uh, like Ronda Rosie, like, mm -hmm. this is not about the bad people. This is about like sometimes you can control everything. Like if before when you become champion, if you train every day two times, when you become champion, sometimes you train one time on one day. Uh, like uh, you can train maybe a little bit running and you think you're training. But mm -hmm. when you go to the cage, you you no need for running. You need sparring, you need grappling, you need wrestling, you need hard work. Like before, when you become champion, you work because you're hungry, you need this, and you have big motivation. Then you become champion, you a little bit lose your motivation, but you and you forget about other guys. Yeah. A lot of guys coming, like, training so hard, very hungry, and uh, you have to understand this. I know this. I know this way. I know this uh, stuff, and that's why I keep training, keep working. Perfect. And, um, Enjoy your fight, Cam. Look forward you. to the fight. Thank, thank you, thank you so, so much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.